Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and in this video, I'm going to show you what's new in Oxygen 3.8. Now 3.8 is largely a bug fix and tweak release, but we do have one headline feature that I wanna jump into immediately and show you exactly how it works. This feature is called Advanced Query, and what it allows you to do is configure advanced queries for repeater and easy post elements. So here I am on my single post template, and I'm just gonna go ahead and set up an advanced query here. So we're gonna add a section to the bottom, and then we're gonna add an easy post element. And let's switch our preset up here to maybe masonry. Now I wanna make sure the only posts shown here are posts with the same categories as the posts that I'm viewing. And if we scroll up to the top, we can see this post has a category of IPSA. So I wanna make sure I only see other posts in the category IPSA down here at the bottom. Previously, this involved some special PHP. Well, now with the advanced query option under query, advanced, we can build queries that use not only WP underscore query parameters, if you're familiar with those, but also dynamic data within those parameters. So let's take a look at the presets that are available. So we have posts of the same type as current, all posts except the current post, children of the current post, related posts by terms, random related posts by terms, posts by author of current post or archive. And what we need is related posts by terms because we wanna find the other posts with the same category. So we're gonna choose category for our taxonomy and click apply. Now let's jump up to the front end and we'll take a look. If we see here our category is IPSA, we should only see posts at the bottom from the same category. So let's click one and make sure it works. Works perfectly. And because it's in the template, that's applied to every post, which means if we go to another post, such as this one, and the category is Vite Aliquam. So we are going to go up to the front end and make sure that our query is working for this one too. So Vite Aliquam, let's go down and we have four posts this time because there are four posts with that same category. Let's click into one and you can see it's a post with the same category. So advanced queries are really powerful, even with just the presets, but we also give you a visual query editor. So let's say this query is not quite what you want. You can click edit query and here is where the query can be built. And in this example, we are searching for posts with the post type that is the same as the post type of the current post, which this is an oxygen dynamic data tag. So it's getting that dynamically from the post you're viewing. And then we're doing a taxonomy query with an array. We're looking for the category and the terms we're pulling from the current post using dynamic data. And then we're matching by the slug field. And then we're making sure we're not returning the current post by using post not in. And we're passing the current post's ID dynamically. So with this visual query builder, you can build basically any query you want based on WP query parameters. So this completely busts the doors wide open on the types of queries you can perform in Oxygen with the repeater and easy post elements, including things like pulling in ACF relationship fields to show related posts as they've been selected on the back end and much, much more. Now that's our big headline feature and the most exciting thing to talk about. But we also, with the help of the Rank Math team, included a native Rank Math compatibility script that allows Rank Math to analyze Oxygen built content, as well as include Oxygen images in the sitemap. So if you're a Rank Math user, that's very, very helpful. Now to show you some of the other tweaks and enhancements we've done, I'm gonna back out and go to a blank page. So we'll go to sample page and edit that in Oxygen. First off, we've improved the code editor that we use within the builder. So if you go to manage style sheets and edit a style sheet, you're gonna see some new options down here. You have editor theme. We have a few different themes you can choose from. You have a wrap option to wrap the text so it doesn't go off the right side of the editor. And then within the editor itself, you have bracket pair highlighting, bracket autocomplete, and a few other improvements that make this just act a little bit more like the code editors you're used to. And this also applies to code blocks as well. So when you're writing PHP, HTML, JavaScript, or CSS in Oxygen, it's gonna be a much better experience. 
Additionally, we have added an offset option for our built-in smooth scroll scripts. So let's go to manage settings, global styles, and scripts. Now when you enable smooth scroll to hash links, you can set the scroll time and the scroll offset, which allows you to make the scrolling behavior accommodate sticky headers and things like that so that you're not hiding the thing you scrolled to. We've also updated the way our structure pane drag and drop works. So let's add a couple of elements here so that I can showcase this and we'll just duplicate these divs a couple of times. And then we'll go into structure. We now have explicit drag handles in the structure pane. So you can't drag by clicking anywhere. You have to actually grab the drag handle. But this has actually, in addition to updating the Dragula script that's used, has made the drag and drop a little bit more fluid and reliable. So if you had troubles with the drag and drop in the structure pane before, those will most likely be resolved. Now one I'm particularly excited about is custom HTML tags. So Oxygen has always had a tag chooser here towards the bottom of the properties pane for most elements where you can choose various HTML tags, but we don't have all the tags that you might want. So now you can check this use custom tag box and type whatever tag you need. So in this case, if I want to make a list, I could just set this div to be an OL ordered list. Then I can add a text element inside and I can change the text elements tag to LI. And now I can edit this and I can duplicate it. And I now have an HTML list with really clean markup built visually within Oxygen. And you can kind of let your imagination run wild with this. You can use any HTML5 tag. So there are a lot of possibilities, even some we probably haven't thought of yet, that this opens up, including allowing you to just be more semantic with your markup. Another really cool tweak we put in is for the gallery element. The gallery element has had a major weakness in that previously when you had selected some images and you went to update the gallery or change it, you had to reselect all images. Well, now it remembers your selections and you're able to actually add to the gallery or remove from the gallery without having to completely redo the whole gallery. So this is gonna be a huge quality of life improvement for anybody that needs the gallery element and uses it often. Another one I'm really excited about is the ability to lock a selector. So let's say I have a utility class on this like BG Black, and all this utility class is supposed to do is give me a black background. I don't ever wanna make other changes on this class, but in the past, if you had this class selected and you came back to this element to make some other change, you'd forget that the class was selected and you make the change and then nobody was happy. So now we can go to advanced and lock this selector, which isn't hard to unlock, but it's a nice reminder that maybe I shouldn't be editing this class and that I should be on the ID instead. So that's a huge deal for people that are used to using utility classes and it will make things much more convenient. Finally, in the enhancements, we have added a text editor to the properties pane for text elements. So let's make this white so we can see what we're doing. And we can actually edit the text here in the left-hand side. Edit this text now and it's updated immediately. So this can be really handy if you have text elements that are absolutely positioned or for whatever reason aren't visible in the builder preview. This makes it really easy to go ahead and edit their text. And that pretty much brings us to our list of fixes, which I'm not gonna outline in detail. You can check out the blog post for a full change log, but we have over 30 bug fixes that are included in this. And a lot of them are kind of longer standing bugs that had set dormant for a while. And I'm really excited to squash some of those old problems. So that pretty much covers all the things that I wanted to show you in this video. Again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and that's what's new in Oxygen 3.8. Thank you very much for watching.